Look. Up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's, it's... Superman. 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 No. It's Chris Nielsen. Hiya, I'm Billy. And this is Run Junk AHS presented by New Balance. This week was filled with high winds, high volts, and big triples. Or should I say quadruples? Wait a minute. What's that over there? Where? What? Way, way, way up there. I think it's a bird. No. Or a plane? Uh uh. Or Max Fleet's drone? Maybe. No, no, no. It's Chris Nielsen still coming down from his ginormous jump he had this weekend. Chris Nielsen broke the pole vault national high school record this weekend with a vault of 18 feet, four and three quarter inches. He Woo! jumped so high that he retroactively inspired these classic hits. Now, since we're talking about the all-time greats, let's give a shout out to Alyssa Wilson, a junior out of New Jersey, who became the second high schooler ever to throw over 55 feet in the shot put. Her new PR of 55 feet, one and one quarter inches, ranks number two all-time in prep history. But to continue our all-time national record talk, did you see Lauren Rain Williams run a 22:44 in the 200? What? Now, it was slightly wind-aided, but it ranks third all-time under all conditions just underneath Allison Felix and Candace Hill. That's crazy. But enough of this sprint talk. Next, we're gonna head to the West Coast and we're gonna go to California and Utah to talk about some hella fast mile times that just went down. Fast is right. Bria Olinda's Austin to Magno ran the US number two, 344 in the 1500 at the Hoka 1-1 Middle Distance Classic. He placed fifth in his heat, despite the fact that it was loaded with pros and he's still a senior in high school. But that's not the only fast middle distance race that went down. Billy, what else happened out west? So we take things way up to altitude for the Utah State meet where Casey Klinger broke Ben Sorrell's all-time Utah State record in the 1600 meter with a time of 4.07.52. Klinger also won the 3200 with a 9.08 that day. Insane considering the altitude, gotta remember that. And speaking of that area, Katie Rainsberger in Colorado quadruples. Say what? Yeah, four events. She won four events at the Colorado State Meet uh, for the second year in a row, too. She ran 209 for 800, 1023 for 3200. Her four by eight team goes 914, and she breaks Elise Cranny's state meet record in the 1600 and 445. Legit. That is crazy. But let me tell you some more here. I thought that was unhuman until I saw Nevada Moreno, who went super sane at the North Carolina State Meet, where her 4x8 team ran 9.06. She went and ran a 2.08 in the 800. She also went and ran a 4.51 in the 1600, but also dropped a 10.17 in the 3200. More incredible girls competing in multiple events happened when Stephanie Jenks tripled at the Iowa State Meet. She went 210 in the 8, 429 in the 1500, and 1033 in the 3K Ooh. to close her career. Get this, she's a senior in high school, graduating with 11 state outdoor track titles in the state of Iowa. Oy. And we saved the best for last here with your girl, Sydney McLaughlin. She dropped a gnarly triple as she ran a PR of 23.53 in the 200 meter. She also ran US number four, 52.97 in the 400 meter. And then she also ran a new U.S. number one time of 56.99 in the 400 hurdles. Dang, girl! Dang. Are we going to see a national record soon from Sydney? I think maybe so. It's been a wild weekend, but Billy, what's up next? So, next I think we're, we are all heading to Claremont, Florida for the Flow Golden South Invitational. The weather is not going to be the only thing hot down there because these races about to be fire! That's right, the 100, 400, 800, and mile are all automatic Brooks PR qualifiers. Be there in Florida or watch all the action online on Mile Split and Flow Track this Saturday. Catch you next week. Bye.